Hello guys, today I have something really interesting to try. It's a water mixable oil paint by Royal Talents named Cobra. And in this video, I'm gonna open it, make some tests and paint a painting. So let's open it. Uh, it's a really small set of five tubes, but I really have everything I need for first try. It's titanium white, permanent yellow light, pure oil, uh, red deep, cobalt blue, and permanent green deep. Yeah, <laughs> Marcellus checked them too. The kitten actually was uh, the main reason why I decided to try this water soluble oils. He's extremely curious, a uh, little mister, and I was really afraid that one day he would touch the paint with his paws or his nose and it would be uh, a disaster to clean him afterwards. Uh, so I decided to try water mixable paints which is much easier to wipe away with just water. So let's go back to my first impression. Now I'm making swatches and trying the magic part. I can clean the brush in the water can and it's, it works. Uh, it works like miracle, very, very impressive. So it's all really feels like normal oils with an exception of a brush cleaning. This is crazy. Colors are bright and smooth. I wouldn't choose these exact colors for such a small set myself, but it's still nice and useful selection of colors anyway. Now uh, I try to mix colors and work with uh, brush strokes. Thankfully, I really don't feel any difference with the regular oils, uh, which is good. Usually I work with the quite visible brush strokes and don't use any medium so texture of the paint is super important for me and it is nice uh, and i'm just blown away by the fact that it can clean my brush in the water which is feels, feels so weird when you use oil paints okay in this part of the video i'm trying to mix green cobra paint with the regular orange oil paints by schminke and see if uh, the mix will become water mixable or not. The short answer is no, uh, but okay, maybe I uh, need to explain. Well, I heard that works, uh, this water mixability of uh, the paint came from one special ingredient, and I thought that maybe if I add just a little bit of regular oil, oil paint, uh, this ingredient will still work. Uh, so I tried several proportions, but you can clearly see that the orange paint always stays on the brush and uh, there are little parts of it in the, on the water surface. Uh, so no, you actually can't mix water soluble oils with the regular one. Uh, it doesn't make sense and well, I've tried it, so you don't have to. Now I'm going to do a little quick oil sketch of some simple landscape from my mind just to have some first feeling of the paint uh, in the real work. And to be honest, it works good, as good as just regular oil paints. I still don't feel any difference. Uh, yeah. Mixing, uh, brush works, everything is just the same. You can see me mixing colors and... Okay, it's all really, really good. And let's move on to the real painting process. I usually start with a layer of acrylic paint to taunt my canvas. Uh, this time it's beautiful vibrant transparent yellow by Rembrandt. Next step I mix the paint with the water to do some underpainting drawing. With the regular oils I mix uh, paint with the solvent at this step and uh, water works perfect with the cobra oils look uh, this watery liquidy mix uh, like 
very very um, very good very good working Now, while my drawing is drying, I'm mixing the colors that I need. So the color mixing process is as good as, as ever. Okay, I am starting with the dogs and then moving to the highlights. And after this, I'm starting to build the volumes. Now, while you are just watching me painting, I want to tell you more about the kitten problem. A uh, few months ago, we got a kitten, and very, very soon I realized that it was unexpectedly hard to paint while he was around, and he was around always. First month, I hadn't been painting with oils at all, because I knew that even if I would be very, very careful, I couldn't guarantee that he wouldn't touch or lick the paint at some point. He was so fast, curious, brave, uh, confident and playful. Perfect kitten, to be honest. But maybe not for an artist. I didn't know what to do. I knew that water mixable oils existed, but you know, I had the whole box of regular ones and I needed <laughs> that month to realize that I wasn't able to act normally with our new family member and I should have made some adjustments. So I decided to try Cobra paint and you now, now you see my trying process. Uh, I liked it and bought more colors after I filmed the video. That time, while I was buying it, I was uh, avoided toxic pigments like cadmiums and cobalt, so I don't panic even if he touched them. Of course, I do my best to not uh, let him touch oil paints, but come on, he's really extremely active and curious, so sometimes he's just faster than me. Uh, but it's really, really fast and easy to, to clean him afterwards. Really not a problem. So, to the conclusion. Well, what can I tell? After filming this video, I switched to the water mixable oils uh, completely. I've only used Cobra paint, but now I want to use more because they are great, just great. So, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Stay tuned.